Welcome to another technical video about the insides of the new Odyssey Clutch Hub. This time I'm going to be talking about the resistance mechanism. Now, the resistance mechanism is an essential part of any free coaster hub. It allows the driver to screw itself into or engage the pulls of the clutch element. Now, if you didn't have a resistance element, when you went to turn the driver, the clutch could just move with it and it wouldn't engage the hub. So every hub has to have something to try and keep the clutch still relative to the axle until you pedal and then it has to slip nicely around. The existing way that nearly all the hubs on the market use is these little tiny balls here. These are hardened steel ball bearings pushed apart by a spring through a hole in the middle of the axle. Now the hole in the axle obviously weakens it, but there's a bigger problem than that. Having a hardened steel ball, which is very small, has an infinitely small contact patch with the inside of the hardened steel clutch. Hardened steel, running on hardened steel, is obviously not the best thing in the world. And every time you pedal, every time you're pedaling along, those two parts are dragging against each other, causing wear, creating small fractions of um, metal that get in the mechanism. And worst of all, putting a flat spot on these balls and a groove on the inside of the driver. Eventually, you lose grip. And then the problem of the drive slipping starts to come in and not having the hub engage is incredibly annoying. So rather than use this mechanism, we designed our own from scratch. These two plastic pieces are made of a special composite that we've made, which contains both Teflon and uh, Kevlar. This means that we have created a different interface for the drag to happen on, for the resistance mechanism to work on. So this piece sits inside the driver. As the clutch turns, it carries this plastic piece around with it. And the plastic piece sits out on the outside of this, and this piece has a flat on it to engage the flat on the axle here. When this is assembled with a spring, it looks like this. So the inner part is held to the axle by the flat and the plastic ring on the outside is carried around by the driver. So to assemble this, all we have to do is slide it onto the axle and then slide the clutch on. Now we have a situation where instead of having a tiny, tiny contact patch between two hardened steel items, we have an engineered proper solution of these two contact patches here between specially formulated low friction plastics turning around. Now plastics have a huge advantage in this application which is called stiction. This is the feature by, whereby the coefficient of friction when it's sliding, i.e. you're pedaling, is lower than the coefficient of friction before you set off. This means it gives more grip when you go to engage, which is when you want it to give more grip, and then once it's running, it runs nice and smooth. So you can see that that runs much more smoothly, even without any lubricant on it, than the traditional hardened steel version, which you can hear grinding away. So that's our new resistance mechanism. And of course, not needing to put a hole through the axle means we maximize axle strength. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Goodbye.